Comp Center, the bridge between casuals and comp. You a liner, you a gazelle. Comp Bellis, we back at it. And now, listen, listen, y'all. Sometimes you see me on Twitter, I be joking. I be posting little clips, little, little clippy clip hand here. But I need y'all to understand that I'm posting these clips for educational purposes. If you can't see a video and take a little bit of knowledge from it, see, you know, see what the do's and the don'ts, what you want to do, what you don't want to do from it, and then, then uh, I don't want to say unfollow me, but you might need to, I don't know, you might need to not watch my vids, you know? I posted a little clip from the weekend, from the little league, I, from the 2K league, not the little league, from the league, the 2K league. And I know it's different from my pro am scene. I normally cover really pro am on this channel, not really the 2K league. But y'all really got inspired from that clip. From the weekends, y'all got inspired. Now, I'm going to play clip one, right? And I'm going to need y'all to tell me, the people that's watching, which one of y'all got the lowest IQ out of all three of y'all. And here's clip one. Eight seconds now, got to go. Cole, over to Cole World. Rebound by Moody. And now you got a foul. You got a foul for your Blazer 5. And they can't get the foul. Cole World. Not sure why you take that shot because you got a two point game now. Sophia. And he steps out of bounds. And that's why you don't take a shot. And that was the clip from the league. Now moving on to the second clip. Remember, y'all, this is a voting. I, I need y'all to vote which one of the, which one of them got the lowest IQ or the highest IQ. However, you want to view these plays. The second one we got goaded. You know, gold is a, a top guard at the moment. We thought he was he was the one that was gonna dethrone himself. Told unfortunately it wasn't him. It was um Cat and Scoreholic instead. But we got we got tunnel vision against team caution. Dying seconds of a game that's gonna. Start a reverse sweep. Let's hit the clip. Both of y'all go back. We have like a thousand seconds, dog. Look at my baby. X, 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 or circle on me. Huge miss. Oh, oh my god, I sold. This game's ass. Oh damn it, man. Come on. Yeah, we shouldn't have shot that. Oh, Adam, what are you shooting for? I'm coming, I'm coming. Follow to get right. Follow to get right. No threes, bro. Let him have it. Let him have it, bro. Yo, do nobody oh call for the ball. Oh, my God. I'm going to call, call the icon. I'm gonna get your man, bro. Hey, I got pure stretch on me. Come on, oh. man. Like Listen, man, I post these strictly for educational purposes. This one is the third clip right here. Notice the shot clock when he took this shot. Luckily, he had some good teammates. This is in the finals. So we had the 2K League. They did it. We had, at the dying seconds of a almost reverse sweep, they did it. And now this is in the finals, the NPBA finals. The stage doesn't get any brighter. Oh, yes, it does, actually. My bad. Oh, I meant, like, the, you know, the league is the ultimate. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Play the clip, man. Yikes. I'm not yeah, on shot, so I like... Don't nobody get oh, from me. Hey, why, did it? why did it get harder? And that's no board, bro. Y'all be sure to let me know in the comment section which one of these dudes got the highest or lowest IQ, man. Shout out to, but the, just, just off a note, the dude in the last clip, man, he went crazy in that finals. He did, he definitely did go crazy in that finals. He had about 27, 28 mad times. For a stretch to be doing that in a comp game, tsh, unheard of. The finals was last night. It took place. You know, it was God sent, the stage players. Uh, I don't think people expect them to make it that, that far. They had a rough pat. They encountered the monsters. They Kakai went crazy in that one. He went he went super crazy. He dropped like 59 or something like that on that one. They encountered Moby on the other end. You know, Mo, he's always in the finals. And DC, who he's doing his thing on P4. He just he just, he just did militia. He just, you know, just ran him out of town, basically. Um it, it, it was a great it was a great performance. I, I want to shout out. Kai, shout out Saver, shout out the entire Godsend roster. Herb, spamming, play some great defense. I'm gonna bring you out. Y'all know I don't like doing the 2K numbers, the 2K low statistics, but I'm gonna I'm add a little bit into it. You know, this is a little sprinkle. It's a little sprinkle. You know, clamping, spamming. He had, he had about 
2.5 rebounds and a steal per game or something like that. You know, save a, well, save a, what, what, oh, this, this playoff number's ridiculous. What, what is this? Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> I ain't reading those numbers. They like said that boy averaged 32, 7, and 2. But it's mixed in because, you know, Kyle was on his account for one game and then the other one. And then, then he switched it uh, throughout the finals. He switched to lock. It, it, it's just so many things going on in the offense. But know that he is a secondary ball handling over there. Kyle's the number one uh, ball handling over there. Shout out Jawan. He did his thing over there. Shout out the entire Godsend roster, you know. Shout, shout out Shot Perception. He, he had the 27. Boy went crazy. He's a different, he's a different breed when it comes to stretch, apparently. I know he was having an argument about cones or whatever, but I mean to come in the finals and score 28, 27 on a sharp is it's really different. It, it, it's truly different to me. It, it really is truly different. Shout out to all the other people that's on the team. You know the ones that didn't really get much run. I apologize if I didn't give you enough love, but um, no one expected the stage players to do it. Mm, I kind of expected them. You know, they, 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 they were on a good run. Kai was unstoppable on this run, you know. Dimaris is known as the best 6'10 defender in the game at the moment. You know, they, they say he's better than Locks. And Kai did his thing in that situation over there. It, it, was a great, it was a great performance. All you can do is tip your hat up to them boys. You can't say, you can't try to discredit them because it's, cause it's August because they beat Moby for it, you know. And, and Moby is that guy. They beat DC for it, and you know DC he 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 been in he been in many finals. You know he he just he just beat South Tour the other day on his on his console. So all you can do is really tip your hat off to Godsent. They are the MPBA season twelve champions, and they deserve it. And I'm gonna give y'all a little recap. Game one went to double overtime. Game one is what we're seeing on the screen right now. Game two, big blowout. I'm talking, I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking God Sam put the pause on them fellas, game two. Now, game three, this is where it gets tricky. They made a substitution pistol for sniper, because pistol had to go take care of some things. And this right here, it, it's kind of killing me, because because Twitter, Twitter moving like sniper played terrible defense. If you didn't watch the series, I, I implore you to go back and... and I, I advise you to go back and uh, rewatch it. But Twitter act like Sniper played terrible defense. I'm not saying his defense was A1. I'm not saying defense was A1. But if you watch game one and game two, you would see that the defense is either similar or a little different from, from, from those series. You, you understand what I'm saying? It, it couldn't get more worse than game two or game one. It, it, it really couldn't. So I, I, I don't understand what the big complaint is about. But to each his own. To each his own. To each his own. Right here, currently in the O2 game is 72 72. We got DC bringing up the ball. Does a little move. Gets by his man. Goes for the dunk. See, on the P4, he got that to 99. That dunk tendency, he on the uh, he on the 6 10 right now. But on the P4, he got that dunk tendency. 10 for 17. Oh, come on, bro. You better than that. Come on. Anyways, uh, on the P4, <laughs> on the P4, he got that dunk tendency all the way max. We'll, 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 we'll touch on that a little bit later. But um, Twitter's telling me that Sleedy's and Moby's, Moby's cursed. You know, together they are cursed. This is about their fourth or fifth final, or maybe third, who knows. It's either three to five finals where Moby and Sleedy's have lost together. If you know Sleedy's, he's won almost everything when he, no, he did win every finals with Doms. He won every finals when he went in with Doms, you know. Maybe the duo just isn't working, though. They're saying Moby's cursed, but I can't put this all on Moby. This, this, this series cannot all be on Moby. He literally willed his team back down 0-3 to force a game seven. Granted, part of that was all Juwan. You know, we're going to shortly have how Godsend tried their hardest to lose this series. When I tell you Godsend tried their hardest, they tried their hardest hardest to throw this series you know some people are saying it was because the rhythm between the whole sniper switch and all that but i don't know man these boys tried their hardest i swear I swear to you back to the game at hand though we got new lane 78 75 in the first overtime of game one no limit car does the little shimmy you know that's what he does but if it's not a stiff arm he he he, he just sliding by to you because the whole, both Sniper and Pistol was playing too high at certain points. 
if, if we don't dish it out, we got to dish it out equally fairly. You understand what I'm saying? Um, both of them were playing too high at certain points in the game. It happens. It's 2K18. Defense isn't all the way there. Defense is not all the way there. Kai with the ball. Dances with him. Not even dancing. He left right. Like he just he just literally just walked around pistol just now. He, he he ain't even danced with him. He just walked around him. That wasn't a left right. That wasn't a that was just a walk around him. Cause he come with the court too high. DC. Same move that Kai doing, except for he did a little bit more to it. Now listen, I, I ain't sitting at home commentating over no five out. That's not my style. That's not me. That's my style. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look. Ooh, that's good pension over there, though. I give him that. But here's my question I'm posing to the audience right now in Comp Center. Has the stage kids, have the stage kids taken over Pro-Am? This right here is an all-stage, all-park team. All you can see is clans on the floor. All you see TMB, No Limit, whatever's on the floor. <laughs> have the stage kids now surpassed us Comp Pro-Am players? Now, my opinion on the take is that, well, I just throw y'all the little lifeline. You know, it's August. <laughs> it's July. It's August 1st. You know, they came when the real comp wasn't there, whatever's the case. But judging from this kid, Kai, Kai play, the way he's playing at the moment, I know this, you can only play what's in front of you. I'm not saying his game is going to translate. You can only play what is in front of you. The man is on a mission, and he's clearly better than a lot of guards that's supposedly comp at the moment. Here he is with the ball at the moment. Survey, he ain't even surveyed the floor. I just say easy cut by shot perception. That man's shot perception was on a mission. He tried to throw the game, but he's on a mission. Look at this. 22 of 9 for 12 shooting on a sharp. Who's guarding him? I believe that's Drake that had the assignment on him. It, this is crazy. Sleeties, you know that's green. I think he actually missed that one. <laughs> I remember watching this one live. Man, when I tell you he bought this game back, when I tell you he bought them back this game, I swear he did. Please go back and check that. He bought, he bought, these, he bought these boys back. He willed them to this. But unfortunately, he missed the easy green one. DC playing with him. You know, he, he liking that behind the back. That's not a dunk animation. On PS4, it would have been. That's crazy. Kai takes it up hot ring. Know it is the time on the clock. It's 86, 82. Kai, Kai looks like he's... He, he looked like, he, look, look how easy he's blown by pistol. Like, this is crazy. Like, like he's walking by him, not running. He's walking by him down the court. This is ridiculous. I'm not seeing one hot dribble move. And you know that boy be spamming. I'm not seeing one. Ooh, that's who that's on him. That's clamping. That's good D. That's good D on Moby right there. That's good D. That's definitely good D. As we take a moment to pause the scores, 88-82. In the second overtime, right after this clip, right after we get past this game one thriller, I'm gonna show you guys how God sent try their hardest to lose this series. You know, there you go, breadwinner DC 88 84 is the score, one minute and 40 remaining. DC with 31, but I'm not sure about the showing performances. Last I checked, I remember at a certain point in the game, he was 10 for 17. Ka, he's a Okay, now, now he look like he added a little bit of moves to the arsenal. Now, now this is what I'm talking about now. Now it's moving to the arsenal. It's box. He passes out up top. Right back. There's a lot of panic passing going around. This saber with the ball. Ooh, that, wait, that's design? That's not design. That, that was too panicky to be design. That's looking like a 76ers 2K league play, kind of. A little pass down to Steve's. That, that's not design. I, mm, I ain't giving it to y'all. I ain't giving it to y'all. Like, that's not design. There you go, Moby with... Moby to DC. DC dishes it out. That's a three. 90 to 87 is the current score with a minute remaining in game one. When I tell you, fellas, this was a thriller, this was a thriller. For Moby to will his team back down 03. Man, look at Kyle. Look at Kyle. Momentum. Momentum. Snatch. Oh, ooh, normal 21. I said snatch. He did that so fast. Shot perception. And that is how that man scored 28 on a pure stretch. Now, I don't know how he's scoring this much in calm games. I know I said that before, but this is crazy. We got Spamming with the pluck. Big plucks by Spamming. That man different out there. Let me find out, Spamming. Let me stop. Spamming, he played well games one, two, one, one, to, one to three or one to one, two? I think one to three. All I know is that little momentum on the rhythm thing, it, it really killed Godson and put him in a little funk. New Lane should not have sold game three, which they did, you know? Sleeties gets the ball, takes it in another corner three, but this time this one. Ooh, offensive rebound. Back to Sleeties. 
That I told y'all that boy was moving crazy this game. Y'all think this crazy? This is nothing. His overtime performance actually takes away from what he did in the fourth. The way he willed this team back. This is when Shaw tried. This right here is what I'm talking about. When I say God sent try to try their hardest to throw the game, that play, that, that's what I'm talking about. Them boys try their hardest to throw this game. And now we're going to go into the two clips where I said they tried even harder to throw the game. Shout out to stage because Shaw got sent. They really did their thing on this stage, but we got to show light. You know, this is like an IQ comp center. We, we, we just got to we just gotta, we just gotta get into it. I apologize, but, you know, we got to get into it. Maybe you could take a little bit from it and help your game a little bit more. In the pop play. Yeah, uh, the the screen. Uh, uh, set the screen. Yeah, you set the you set the screen, and then Jawan wraps. All right, come on, come on, Jawan, you gotta. Uh, oh no, you just wrap, Jawan. Green, green, shoot the ball. This nigga is useless. Bro. I'm about to get. I'm picking up. I'm picking up Herbo, bro. You're not. No, you're a pure sharp. Shoot the. It's it's Hall of Fame diamond. You're a pure sharp. Bro, I'm, I'm, so we just saw Jawan. He he just would he wouldn't pull a she wouldn't pull a shot, which resulted in a seven a, 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 a game seven bench. And now we see a situation where they need a three, right? Look at the shot clock when they need a three, and how easy they could have got the two and played a foul game. Instead, they ran. They 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 just ran for the three. I'm not saying they shouldn't have taken the three. I'm not, I'm not. But but in the play that they drew up. The way how easy it was to just take the two at the moment and hope for a miss, you're like you never know. I mean, I, the, the 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 Kobe player, uh, by any means, Kobe pistol, uh, or, but that time it was sniper on it. I, that player is not a gold bad free throw age player. Like, like, come on, man, come on. We got a lot of time on the clock. We could do a little bit more better in those situations. It was plenty of other situations where they tried to throw the cheese, but. We just gonna focus. We just, you know, it's not too. It, it, this is a, 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 a we're amping God's scent right now. We're not trying to downplay them. We just that, those two clips were just for educational purposes at home. You know how that goes. Shout out to God scent. They really deserve this. I'm proud of those boys. Saver, spamming. He did his thing. Uh, Herbo. They be trying to clown you on the points out. They crazy man. They crazy. You are you a MPBA champion now. It's, it's nothing you can none you can really tell them. Regardless, they say you just held your nuts with on the stretch. Nothing you can tell them. Shot perception. They said they said you a regular cone. You ain't regular no more. You 28, 27. Show that's your second ring in the year. Come on now. Uh, did I say spamming? Great defense. Uh, the bench players. Y'all played y'all part. Played y'all. Come on man. Y'all did y'all thing. Y'all did y'all thing. Shout out to Godson. Shout out to MPBA season six on running a well organized tournament. Y'all be sure to sign up for Summer League. Now we move on to the PlayStation side of things, you know. I got a little tweet which I stole from Expose Him. You know, he, he kind of owned me one because I stole another I stole another little tweet or lingo from him. And it, it didn't do well, you know. It didn't perform well on Twitter analytics. But he got me a calm little 19 retweet, 64 likes. Not, not bad if you out here stealing tweets and stuff, you know. But um, I'm going to read it out. It says, play sharps are one of the most OP bills in the game. No one should need 99 dunk to score with it. And now, his opponent, who they lost to, they didn't lose because of this mostly. It was a lot of other errors. But his opponent at the time, he had, he had 99 uh, tendency, which I believe it was DC. And people are saying, you should do it yourself, you know? You should go out and do it, get your 99 tendency, and make it even. Make, make the playing field even. He said he doesn't need it, whatever, whatever is the case. But I'm going to tell you guys this, Okay. When you are play sharp, I like the argument, okay? I like the argument that now that you have 99 tendency, you're going to want to be dunking too much, and it throws off your game. But if you're switching from a point forward, like DC or Kena, to this 99 tendency bill of 99 dunk tendency, you are going to be what they call in the community a different breed. And, and it's simple facts. You are going to be different because when people come to play up on you, you play up that little three on the play sharp that they could have sagged off on the point forward. You're going to blow by, and you're going to be windmilling. No, not windmill. I, I bug. Little tomahawk, little tomahawk, you know. But they go, you're going to be doing that every single play. Now, people are asking, they, they ask the right answer, oh, should the league ban this, uh, 99 Tennessee glitch? Now, I don't know if you guys watch, like, First Shake or anything like that. The other show I do on the 2K League with, with Frank. Oh, my, my guy, you know, if you guys don't know Frank, he, he hosts like KOK, 
Um, one of the biggest my team tournaments. He, he just got like the co-sign from Ronnie. I saw like Ronnie tweet out the tournament the other day. Whatever it is. But he has rules or a committee that comes up with rules in his tournament. Now, I'm not saying we need that in pro. I'm, I'm just pointing it out that sometimes rules are needed. You know, I, I can care less myself. As long as the cheese is on the line, if you win in the cheese and there's no rules against it, do your thing. Tip my hat off to you. I, I'm not here for that. But all, all I'm saying is that rules are some, sometimes shouldn't be looked at as a negative. That, that's, that's all I'm going to say on the situation. I'm not going to say anything else. Um, for the rest of August, it's cool. It doesn't matter because this is more than likely this doesn't translate to 19. You know, if it translates to 19, then maybe it's a problem. You understand? But at the moment, it's only two, three weeks remaining. Go get your cheese. Go. Well, how much more? How much more? How much, how much more money we have remaining in program to get? It's, it's probably around like five bands remaining. Five, a cool little 5K combining all the tournaments. Maybe we got WR Xbox going, Summer League going. Um, WR PlayStation going. So maybe like seven bands in total. Go get your cheese. If if if, if you got a glitch to get your cheese to beat self taught, to beat whoever it is on Xbox and, and wage or whatever, go get your cheese. But I'ma just revert to 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 my boy to my god black friend white. I give him a lot of flack for having rules in a tournament with a committee. But all I can say that is one of the smartest things I've ever seen done because of the way that the rules are be are upheld no matter the flag that he takes from the people, because the players still play. Nonetheless, though, shout out to New Lane for making it to another, well, making it to the finals over there on the PlayStation side and winning on the PlayStation side. I couldn't leave without shouting out DC, Scoreholic, and Cat. Um, I remember when Tunnel Vision played self talk we all thought that it was Tunnel Vision that, I mean, not to, I said Tunnel, we all thought it was Golded was the man, you know, that got him the two wins or whatever the case. Kind of find out his cat on the defense, score Hollick down low and, you know, doing his thing. And that's really the, the reason why. Or, or they, they may have, all I'm saying is they may have the blueprint for self talk Yes, I understand. I know, I know, I know. It was a rider problem. They, 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 they self talk felt 0 2 in the militia tournaments. Um, they, 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 they did the router, whatever, came back, it was still lagging. And if it, I understand, I understand. It, it, it's called a storyline. That was Com Center with Com Bailiffs. When you reflect on this episode, I just want you to ask yourself, you a lion or you a gazelle? Not for nothing, I'm running through packs quick. Oh, it told me invest in a ratchet. They get hectic, they bet through they spazzing. Shoot no limit, 150, they lacking. Woo!